home. It, it takes a, a woman's hand and heart or, or, or a child's presence to make a home. But if you still love Aunt Polly, why don't you just ask her to stay and be lovers again? Then the three of us can all live here together. Lovers? Your aunt and I. <laughs> Have we got that wrong? It was your mother, whom I loved, Pollyanna, your darling mother. But she didn't love me. And then, after a while, she went away with your father. Well, since then, <laughs> I've been a peevish old man. I've such a lot to share with you, but please be here with me. What about Aunt Polly? She doesn't deserve you. She doesn't know how to enjoy anything, least of all a, a spirit such as yours. I'll ask her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have a, have a cake. Not that one, it's my favourite. Jensie, the sky is rather threatening. Would you mind taking an umbrella and meeting Pollyanna? I'm concerned she may get rather wet. That's very um, kind, Mum. Yes, well, she should be leaving Pendleton Hall shortly. Oh, so she's taking tea with Mr Pendleton? Mr. Pendleton of Pendleton House. Are you completely yourself, Nancy? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Your aunt was worried about you getting rained on, so she asked me to fetch you with this. Oh, she shouldn't worry. No! That's good. You should be glad she's worrying. That isn't how you play the glad game. No, it means there's a chance she's human after all. <laughs> That's why I was going to ask you. Do you think Aunt Polly likes me living in her home? Do you know, I think she does. Now, it wasn't always that way. Would she be sad if I wasn't there anymore? Yes. She started to need you the way you needed her. Oh, I found out. And Polly and Mr Pendleton weren't lovers. What? Oh, but I had it all worked out. Why can't people behave like they do in books? <sighs> so, who was your Aunt Polly in love with? Mum? Oh. Good afternoon, Timothy. Um, I, I, I have a favour to ask, Mark. I was wondering if I might borrow the motor car. Oh, yes, of course. For four days. Oh, why? For our honeymoon. I was hoping I might surprise Nancy by taking her off on a driving holiday. <laughs> you imagine she might enjoy that, do you? Yes. Don't say no. I've got to, Mr. Pendleton. Truly, I have. Aunt Polly. She refused to let you come. I didn't ask her. Why not? I just know she cares for me. I can't leave her now. I understand. I won't ask again. But there is something wonderful you can do. You said only a woman's hand and heart to a child can make a home. Well, I know a child who needs a home. No. It's you I want, just as I wanted your mother. But you must listen. His name's Jimmy Bean. You'd never be lonely with Jimmy around. Perhaps, but I'd rather be lonely. Maybe you think a nice, live little boy wouldn't be as good as that old dead skeleton you keep, but I think it would. Skeleton? Yes, Nancy said you kept one in a cupboard somewhere. Hmm? <laughs> I'm sorry, Pollyanna. You should tell your Jimmy to 
come and see me, if only to say hello. And I promise I'll get rid of that horrible skeleton. Hello. Hello, Dr. Chilton. Come in. Mrs. Snow asked me to fetch her medicine. Ah. I've never been to your home, Dr. Chilton. Oh, it's a pretty poor apology for a home. You sound like Mr. Pendleton. Perhaps you and he should live together. I'm not sure that would be as much fun as it sounds. Why haven't you married? I nearly did. Some years ago. Who? I don't really want to talk about it. Well, you should. It's bad to keep things to yourself. I haven't got any secrets. You will have. Actually, perhaps you won't. Don't have any. So what went wrong? We had an argument. It's unimportant in itself. We haven't spoken for 15 years now. She's a proud woman and I'm a proud man. Well, maybe not proud. Tired. But you must be together. I would have liked us to have been, but people have to want to change and she finds change difficult. I thought Mr. Pendleton and my Aunt Polly were lovers. Well, Nancy thought so first. She reads lots of books, but it turns out we made a mistake somewhere. Mm -hmm. What did Mr. Pendleton say to that? He says he loved my mother. Oh, did you know I'm going to be Nancy's bridesmaid? Hooray. It was I who loved your Aunt Polly. My dear. May I have some water, please? Oh, yes, of course. My headaches. You had a little accident with a motor car. Will I be well enough to go to school tomorrow? Will you tell the other boys and girls that they should stop without me? Yes. Glad you belong to me, old Polly. Don't move her. Yeah, her part. I don't know yet. Is, is she in pain? What do you think? I've always hated those evil smelling dangerous things. What's wrong with horses? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Hello, Pollyanna. Hello. I'm Nurse Hunt. I've come to help your auntie out. You're in safe hands with Dr. Warren. I've seen him raise the dead and you can't say fairer than that. And the first thing I want you to do, my sweet, is swallow these little white pills. Will you do that for me? Goodbye, night.
Good morning.